Yeah, yeah, I like how you're repeating that. Not, right? <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Um, any sun exposure to the areas that we're treating? No. Besides okay. walking over here from my car. Okay, how long? Do you wear sunscreen? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Are you wearing any lotion? No, I didn't sunscreen? put out any today because I okay. know you guys like to wipe down. Yes, you will have, I will have you um, wipe down legs if you are wearing sunscreen. I'm not wearing sunscreen. You're not? No, okay. no, okay. I'm not. All right. Um, but normally you do wear some. Yeah, normally legs. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Any tattoos? No. Cosmetic markings, pigmentation, like tinting anywhere no. on the legs? Perfect. No. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my laser going, give you some safety stuff. Okay. For your eyes. Your pitiful stress ball. <laughs> but it matches your nails. It like, does. Show them. Show them. Ow. Same color. <laughs> you can have it for fun. Okay. If you really don't want it. Okay. Not me being pressured to have pain. No, it's just cautionary. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna hurt. Okay. Does it hurt? Feel like a pinprick or a rubber band snap, real quick. Comes and goes. No lingering heat, okay? Why are you feeling me up? Oh, I mean, you're marking me. I was like, whoa. This is outside the procedures. Yeah. Sometimes. Why, are you, why some, are you acting like this is your? Why first am I time acting hair? brand new? But no, sometimes people don't. Did you say your hair and leg area is coarse, medium, fine. Fine. You've had you've had leg treatments. No. You said you haven't had leg no, but my before. legs are naturally like my hair all over my body is naturally fine. Okay. I will be doing some test spots. Okay. I'm fine. My hair is fine. Hey. <laughs> Test spot in the spicy area. I'm gonna go like right here in the chin. One, two, three. I don't feel that. Do you feel anything? No. Nothing. No. Okay. Let me do one more area. One, two, three. N no. Do you feel anything? No. Like I. I feel like I know you're in the air because of the like the air. The air. You don't but feel like a no, or rubber no. Or oh yeah, I can feel these now. Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay, zero to ten. Zero is no pain. Ten is broken leg. What is this? Uh, one. Okay. And comes and goes, right? Nothing lingering. Yeah, no, it comes and goes. Good. I'm gonna keep kind of going through it unless um, you tell me to stop. Okay. Okay. If you do feel any lingering beats that doesn't go away like a rubber band snap, you need to communicate that with me, okay? Okay. The machine has shut down. Hold on. I'm gonna die. That's what's happening. I uh, remember in the last vlog, I was telling y'all about, I think, I ran a red light. Hopefully I also don't get a... Uh, freaking red light ticket. I, I low key kind of went through a red light a little bit. Like, I'm Caribbean. Like, if it's like just turned yellow, I'm going. That's horrible. That's horrible. I'm gonna take that out. Should I take that out, girl? It was yellow, but like, I'm just like, oh, I, I just can't stop. If I get a ticket, it's because I deserve it. Because I shouldn't be doing ghetto Caribbean things in the States. A lot of mercy. I was hoping they didn't get me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They got me here, y'all. They got my picture and everything. Oh man. Dang. Why me, Lord? I did not see this. I did not see this camera. And it's my freaking fault because I just. I should have just did a hard stop, but. Oh, it's only $50, but also, I don't want to give these people no money, honey. I don't want to give these people money, honey. Ugh. I just meal. And yeah. I've also been called for jury duty, which I've also been avoiding. It's just blows on blows on blows, y'all. So much blows. I don't got time. Like, I know jury duty is really important, but also, girl. So I gotta deal with this for jury duty. 
girl, I guess. I got so much stuff to take care of. And I got a happy, happy letter. So let's go through that. I don't know what it is. It's from my godfather. We're still in St. Thomas. Hopefully it's something happy because... Aww. It's a picture of my god sister. Aww. God sister Sheree, thank you for your love and support. Linnea, oh my god, so adorable. That helps. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> that definitely freaking helps. What else did I get? You know, usually people open PR. I'm opening up mail because usually I avoid this stuff, honestly. I've been kind of productive this morning already. I just recorded a sponsored Instagram video. Hopefully it came out okay. Short form. I'm definitely not as comfortable with short form just because I'm old. <laughs> and I've been doing long form for such a long time. Long form as in YouTube. And we know that YouTube is dying and the new wave is like Instagram and TikTok. I'm not on TikTok yet, but... I do want to start getting into like YouTube shorts and reels because that's the way to like maintain this business. If I don't get my shit together, I'm going to have to go back to traditional work because things are just different now, you know? I look cute today, so I'm going to hop in. Usually I look really busted. Um, I stretched my hair with my blow dryer, which often feels like a waste of like time and like using like heat that I don't need to because my hair just shrinks back like I stretched my hair and it shrunk back this morning it was huge and not the only thing that's huge is me WTF but I'll talk to y'all later bye But I'm in traffic, duh, like true New Jersey, New York fashion. Um, I'm on my way to a bridal shower for Peggy. I think y'all met Peggy in my previous vlog. Y'all, this is Peggy. I, I'm the Q Train on Instagram. Check her out for all the fashion. I'll definitely link that previous vlog. Um, but she's getting married in a few months, and today is her bridal shower. This is actually my first ever bridal shower because people that I know don't commit to nobody and nothing. No baby showers, no weddings, no engagements. They just be living basically, okay? They doing the bare minimum, okay? Work and sleep. Um, so yeah, I don't even go to baby showers. Like, my friends are just, I don't know, I guess they're in their auntie and uncle era because, yeah, this is my first bridal shower ever, I think, yeah, ever in my life. And I'm in my 30s. So I'm excited though. It took me a long time to figure out what to get her, y'all. Today has been freaking crazy, okay? I've been thinking about a gift for weeks. I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of anything. I looked things up on Google. Nothing that I wanted to buy. Like some of the recommendations were like buy um some like miss Mrs. slippers or a robe or um you know typical stuff like lingerie and like sex toys. And I was like, I don't know if she's into that type of stuff. And that's kind of awkward. So I was trying, she didn't have a registry, so I was trying to feel her out to figure out what the hell she wanted. And she was like, anything girl, just a little gift or something serious because this, um, you know, I, I, I don't want people to spend too much on this gift so they can save up for the wedding gift. And I'm like, then why are you asking for gifts? If you, if you are thinking the 
wedding gift is where you want folks to spend their money or give you money, then, girl, like, you gotta give us something, something. So it took me forever. I just finally came up with a luxury body scrub. I was like, yo, it's simple. I'm not spending a million dollars on it. It's cute, but it's still, you know, it's a, it's a decent price. You know, it's the, I got the Way body scrub for her. Um, by the time she's by the time this video goes up, um, obviously the baby shower, the baby shower, the bridal shower would have already passed. So I got her the white body scrub, and you know it's not super expensive, but it is more luxurious than like a tree hut or a soap and glory, and it's a nice little cute gift. You know, like bridal shower gifts don't have to be like fancy. Tell me if that was a good gift or not, y'all. Let me know. Um, was that like not good? I think it's good. Like if I got a wave body scrub. I would be ecstatic because the way body scrubs are so freaking luxurious. Like, I love it. It's going to be my favorite. I picked mine up from Ulta when Ulta had it 50% off. And I got her at full price. So, um, I think it's a cute gift. I mean, it's not an amazing gift. Maybe not the most thoughtful gift. But I think it's cute. Because I just don't want to give her a gift card. I was like, I could give... Alexis told me to just give her money or a gift card. Money and gift cards are so, like, impersonal and corny and basic. And yes, a body scrub is basic too, but that shit is real basic. So I was like, nah. That ain't happening. So yeah, as I was saying, though, because I feel like I'm all over the place. Today was super crazy. I woke up at, like, 6.30, and I had to... Richmond had to go to Maryland, if y'all don't know. I don't think I told y'all, but... Richmond did Uber for a while and now he drives box trucks and he came home for a few days and now he's going back on the road and we put his car in the shop because Uber, Uber like F his car up. The amount of miles and just wear and tear like he put on his brand new Honda CRV is crazy so it was more than time to get his car in the shop so he couldn't drive himself so i had to drive down to maryland well we had to drive down he drove down and it's like three hours so he drove down and i drove back so i've been on the road for six hours today already um and on my way back to jersey from maryland i had to stop and get her gift because i couldn't think of a gift until like the last few days and then i've been busy editing and doing some things and i was supposed to go yesterday but that didn't happen because richmond borrowed my car to help out his friend um that came from ghana y'all know how these africans do and um so he took my car since his car was um in the shop so it's just been crazy so not only did i buy a gift today i went down to maryland and now i'm driving like an hour and a half to brooklyn so i've i'm tired bro i'm not even gonna hold you it's been ex let me over it's been an exhausting day but somehow it's all working out I'm grateful for that. We gotta be in the Caribbean part of Brooklyn because the Calypso music is a blasting. I feel like I'm at home. I'm trying to get my gift. Okay. Oh shoot, it ripped. No. Nothing fancy. I'm not fancy with it. I just went to like, you know, the Dollar Tree, picked up a little bag. I wanted a bag that had like writing on it, but they were all huge and it's a small gift. I just put some filler paper. You know, it's so cute. Pink. I like pink. It ripped because it's Dollar Tree and it's cheap. I actually had two. One already ripped. Cheap ass bag. Anyway, y'all, let's go. Gonna keep hand sanitizer and I'll decay. I hope I can park here. Lord, let's see what she does for a living. Commuting. Am I supposed to tell you guys? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Dealing with like rude people, like awful personalities. Yes. Okay. Mm. I was gonna say like burnout. Like yes. when you're here. I'll, <laughs> I'll be above. Social worker. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. You did the YouTube videos with her, right? Ah, uh, I was like, she looks familiar. Okay. Do you think I've ever checked? Yes. Oh, I want to say yes. <laughs> I say yes. Maybe, maybe, yeah. I was about to say. 
I was like, babe, so y'all saw pics from back in the day? I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> We got, we got, we got the social media people. I met them on social media. So, my Haitian sister. Like, college. Um, you know, it's just me and her here, but the people in there are Haitian. Like, right outside of me, you're Haitian. Oh, you're Haitian sister. Yeah, I forgot. My gosh, sister. I'm from the Island, so I'm from the Caribbean. And you're Haitian, my association. Boop, boop, boop. Um, Sheree, my blogger buddy, we met back in what 2009? <laughs> it's not a long time. It was a long time. time we met ago. before Instagram, before yeah. TikTok. Yeah. Um, I am a full time content creator blogger, and my like job is very difficult. And she has really pushed me and helped me when it was very difficult. If it's not my sister, I'm bothering with Sheree. And, <laughs> and she's always come through. And she's such a good friend. A mom, of course. Yay. 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 I love my mom, of course. She cooked the food. She's tired. <laughs> uh, very tired. But thank you so much for everything you've done for me, of course. So thank you guys. <laughs> So much for being here tonight. I really appreciate you guys all coming. Y'all could have been any place in the world, but y'all here tonight. We're here with you, right? Um, and, I, and I love you guys. All right, so let's take it. For you are a teacher, you probably will understand it. For you, Shara, so much joy ahead of you, so much love for around you. So, so glad you found your person, someone who loves you, appreciates, and adores you. May your love endure forever and be an inspiration to us all. Thank you so much. Love, Shara. Thank you. Is it your Okay. Scalp and body scrub. Yeah, she's like, I always see it, but I can never it smells amazing. Her. And it like foams up. It's luxurious. It's she's amazing. a skin person. Yeah, it's so good. Thank you so, so much. Thank, Thank you. So how you know? How you know to get me something like this? So I'm on Instagram. I look at the sides. You know this? Oh, she's smart. She does. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Nice. Something sexy. Okay. Thank you. It smell good though. I can smell it here. I'm not gonna say. But it's it. like massage oil. Exactly it's a like perfume. Just read it. <laughs> it could be. Read it out loud. No, I'm not gonna read it. Peggy, <laughs> read it out loud. Stop. Peggy, <laughs> read it out Stop. loud. It smells good. It's I'm gonna have hilarious. to turn it around in my house. Let me see. Let me see. No, my massage. Peggy, it's not read it. A Fucking 
drive. Hey y'all, long time to vlog. I'm trying not to die. So I'm just going to look at the road. Um, it's been a while since we vlogged. Um, not that much has happened. I've just been home. But yesterday I actually went to my first soccer match. I didn't really vlog that because I was vlogging for Instagram. And I don't know how the girlies be doing both, but it's hard. So I just focus on like vlogging that for Instagram. That was fun. Um, I was invited to that game, um, like a VIP experience. I was in like the Founders Club. There was a bunch of food. There was unlimited drinks. It was a time. A time was hard. Um, and yeah, um, soccer still isn't my favorite sport, but I definitely appreciate the work and the heart that goes into it. Cause them girl, they were running up and down. Like you need so much stamina and endurance to be a soccer player. It's so impressive. I was like, yo, these women are so fit. But today is actually my friend's grand opening for her nail suite. I'm late. <laughs> I'm light because I went to buy her gift. Mm -hmm. It starts at two. I left my house at 1.30 to buy the gift. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those bitches today. I'm one of those girls today. And I just, I couldn't figure out what to get her, which was really dumb because I know what she likes. Because she's not only like my nail tech, she's my friend. So. I just went to Zara and got her a Zara gift card. I don't like gift cards. I think gift cards are very lazy and they're not personal. But at the same damn time, it's what she loves. Like she loves Zara. And we don't have the same taste. So I'm not gonna go in there and like buy her an outfit from Zara, right? So it would just be better for her to buy what she wants. So I went to get her a gift card. I don't have time to wrap that thing, get a card, nothing. Well, I could. But I'm gonna be extra late. It's I'm I'm gonna reach there at 2:40. So it's from two to four, and you know, like people always late. But when it's such a short period of time for an event, you don't want to be that late. So I'm just gonna give her the card as is. It's ghetto, but it's the thought that counts. So I'm just a last minute gift thinker. I'm like, what am I gonna get? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I I I, and I was like, I'll get her flowers, and then I never ordered flowers. So I was like, how are you gonna get her flowers? Unless you're about to roll up to Walmart or freaking shop right today. Like, when were you going to get the flowers, girl? Talk about delusion and confusion. So, I got the gift card and I'm excited for her. I got a jar outside. I got a jar. I got a jar. I got a jar. I got a jar. I got a
go crazy real quick. For real. This morning, I was like, oh my god. Please, let's calm down. Thank you. What are you wearing now for foundation? Oh, I'm just wearing powder. I, I just sprayed it down. I wish I could wear powder. I look crazy. Really? to feel really sick and I was hoping that like with like you know medicine rest that I would feel better today I even woke up today and told her I told her sister like, I wasn't coming I wasn't I was on the phone bawling like oh my god I feel so bad but I can't come I just can't I don't want to make people sick I don't have COVID but I am sick you can hear it in my voice Lord these damn potholes um, but her sister called me back and she let me know that if I'm up to it, you know, Peggy wants me to be there. She wants me to be at her wedding. She let me know that, you know, if I'm comfortable, she would like me there. Um, and I was like, because if that was me, I would say, stay your sick ass home. But she was like, no, nah, girl, come on. So it was like 9 o'clock. The wedding starts at 11. So I haven't even worn my makeup. Y'all see, I still got my wig band on. Um, this day is not going the way I wanted it to and it's pouring raining I'm stuffy my makeup isn't done my wig was lifting which is the reason my makeup wasn't done because this morning I was getting ready I was like I'm gonna put my wig on from early so I put my wig on put the band on and then I was starting to get dressed and because I was rushing one thing about me I stress sweat so I was sweating and I'm a face sweater so I was sweat Thing. like I stole something okay I was freaking sweating putting on my little girdle and if you know anything about me I rarely wear my girdle but I was like for this event I'm gonna pull out my little girdles so I pull out my little girdle everything I'm putting on deodorant I'm putting on my dress I'm putting on my shoes and I'm sweating I'm getting my earrings I'm sweating it's like sweat because obviously I'm sick so the you know the sickness is leaving my body I'm also anxious I'm also stressed so I'm sweating and yeah after spending my time putting on my wig of course when it's time to do my makeup to sit down and do my makeup my wig has lifted sweat resistant my ass I gotta get some mold hold or something that's gonna hold up to sweat because cute girl sweat and my manly sweat is two different things so I need to get something that's actually gonna hold the wig the wig is actually cute the wig is actually giving first of all my skin looks amazing so like do I even need makeup like it's all in my head because my skin looks freaking 
flawless. Uh, but y'all see those bags. Like, ain't nothing can help those bags. I need some concealer. But, yeah, today is not going the way I wanted to. Like, I was so emotional this morning. I felt like shit. Because who wants to miss their friend's wedding? I didn't even let her know I was sick. I didn't even text her. I just didn't want to ruin her, like, wedding week with, like, my, my shit, you know? So I was hoping I felt better, and I didn't. So... Even though I told her, like, I'm not, I told her sister I'm not going to come. They were like, nah, just come on ahead. So, I'm just going to come as God intended. I'll be there. And that's really the most important thing. Like, I'm telling myself, like, bitch, it's not about you. It's not about what you look like and everything. It's about your friend and celebrating her. So, maybe you don't feel the best. And maybe you don't look your best. But it really doesn't freaking matter. Which is true. So I'm just telling myself that. And I'm making it good on time. Because I be going through traffic like a speed car. Lisa. So I'm getting there a few minutes early. The ceremony starts at 11.15. I'm getting there at 11.08. I'm hoping that I can like do my makeup after the ceremony. Before the reception. Just so I can feel like myself. You know. And of course I forgot my freaking mask at home. Because I'm rushing. I'm glad I did not forget her card. Um. But I did forget my freaking mask, <laughs> which was the point of coming to wear your mask. James. Hey y'all, let's wrap up this vlog. A lot has happened in this vlog. I do want to say that the wedding ended up being super beautiful. I'm glad I dragged my sick ass there. It was beautiful. I wish I felt better so I could really thoroughly enjoy it. But I mean, Peggy looked amazing. She looked beautiful. I'm so happy I could share that day with her and Jay. Um, I think that's the wrapping up that I needed to do in terms of the wedding. This vlog is probably going to be all over the place. Hopefully in editing, I could bring it all together. I did want to show you the things that I picked up at the various events that I went to. They're back here. Let's first start with the apothecary event. Um, it was so awesome. Just like all of those like business women and everything it just was dope to see you know minority women just killing it in their perspective um industries i'm not sure what's in here this is my first time picking it up i got a this is a cleanser from isla so you can see that so that's isla Looking like that. I see bomb cleanser and I get excited. Oh, we I am pressed, sis. I am pressed. The apothecary formula frother and rechargeable electric whiz. That's dope. That's probably going to be really dope for my DIYs. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. That's dope. Oh, that's perfect. That's going to be perfect for my... Oh, I guess speedy too. It's a frother, but I can use it to like mix DIYs and like it goes in here. That's dope. Thank you so much, Apothecary. That's awesome. These are night pads. I have not worn pads in forever, but these are biodegradable, 100% cotton. These are actually supposed to be safe compared to like always Kotex and other brands. But again, I have not used pads in almost a decade, but maybe I'll try these. I'm not pad girly, but we will see. Got some things in haul. 
Let's see what this is. Dam Dam. This is a luminous eye cream. It's kind of, there we go. Luminous eye cream. Like that, like that, like that. I don't know what brand this is from. Oh, this is from Dam Dam. A Paradise Mist Hydrating Essence. There we go. It takes some time, but we get there. Hydrating Essence. Skin Mud. We love us a good mask. Boom. Silk Rice Cleansing Oil. We love us some skincare, so I'm really going to enjoy that. So I got some Apothecary Supplements. This is for digestive support. Digestive support. Oh, I finally opened this because I love me some supplements. Like I'm always on my supplement game, so I'm happy to have that. Also some other supplements for Energized Clarity, for rest and restful sleep. This is a lot. I did not expect all of this. Take the edge off stress relief. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And then lastly, mood support. And Lord knows in this depressive time of year, this is going to be perfect. So thank you so much, Apothecary. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. And I love the bag. The bag is cute. Nature is medicine. Her. Let's look into my other bag of things. Ooh. So, some random things that I got. I did a YouTube live with Hello Taco. Uh, there was a Sophia Times Hello Taco collab, and they sent me all of the nail polishes. I didn't even wear nail polish, y'all. I didn't realize they were going to send it. But maybe I'll try them on. Right now I'm wearing press-ons. But thank you so much, Holo Taco, for sending these over. I may actually do a giveaway for these. Because I don't actually wear nail polish. But I'm really appreciative. There's five different colors. Spirit Fingers. Rugi, Brushy, Feeling, Fiendish, Bat, Bitch, and Bury Me in Hold. And that's dope. That's actually really dope. So thank you so much, Holo Taco. So... I went to like an influencer event, a uh, foundation, which is a influencer company, a marketing company invited me to their event. They had a whole bunch of brands there. I talked about that event in like a previous haul. If you haven't seen my natural hair haul, it, it went up before this video, you can check it out. Um, and I got some, a bunch of other things at that event. So I got the Necessaire Body Retinol. I am pressed to use this. I've been wanting to show this to y'all for a minute so I could actually start using it. That is what it looks like. I love the Necessaire Body Serum. Definitely a luxury spend, not necessarily something you need. There are more cheap alternatives, but I haven't found like a retinol body product that I like so far. So I'm really excited to try this. I can't freaking wait to try this. That's what it looks like. Adding this to my rotation ASAP Rocky because I want to see what it's giving. I got some, I forgot I got these. I got some body wash and some body, hand and body lotion from Origins. Origins released their plant fusion line and that's what these look like. They're nice and cute. I'm sure they're a pretty little penny, but I'll definitely eventually report back on whether I like them or not. Right now I'm using the Youth to the People ones. Okay, you to the people sent me their uh, body lotion as well as body wash. So I'm using those right now in my shower. It's giving bougie, it's giving rich, it's giving luxury. Love that for me. Also got a hand cream from CC. CC is a luxury home care brand. Let's open the box. Because I don't remember, honestly, what it smelled like. This event at this point was a while ago. This vlog took a little while to come together. But just look at it, y'all. If you came over and saw this in my bathroom, you probably would think I actually got it from TJ Maxx. But I did it. <laughs> okay. But it's giving bougie. It's giving luxury. It's giving rich girl aesthetic. And it smells divine. And I'm just going to put this in my pantry until it's time to pull that out. But I really thank CC and Foundation for that. And also from Origins, I got the Body Souffle. Every 
Body souffle just sounds so freaking good to me. Like body souffle, are you kidding me? Are you gonna are you gonna act like you got some sense? There you go. Body souffle, right there. Right there. Ooh. It doesn't smell, it smells kind of herbally. I wish it smelled sweet. Like I love me a Gourmand sweet cake set. It's more herbally, but it looks so good. Hopefully it's actually moisturizing. We will have to see what this is hitting for. Definitely report back. I got two products from Patrick Ta. I was supposed to include these in my Sephora haul, and child, I forgot. I got the contour powder as well as the blush. I got the contour in She's Chiseled and the blush in She's Vibrant. And I've never tried any Patrick Ta products, so I'm really excited to try these. Um, I got good with the girl that was working there, so I got two things. One thing about me, I be hella friendly, and I be hella funny, and folks just be falling in love, and can you blame them? So, sis hooked me up, and I got two different products. So that's what the She's Chisels look like. I think that's going to work really well for me. Y'all know I love my Charlotte Tilbury. I love my Benefit. But I'm always down for the new new. And it was free free. So we we love that. <laughs> and this is She's Vibrant. Isn't that pretty? Isn't she pretty? So freaking pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's very pretty. I'm going to put these here in my testing testing bin. That's overflowing because I can never get to my things. But we're going to put that there. Also got the Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk. I forgot I got this. Um, they also pulled this from the back for me. Because again, I was Kiki making the girls laugh. And they pulled this from the back. I just remember this smelling really good. And I also got another one that they were giving everyone. But this one I remember just smelling so good. I'm not really a fragrance girly, but I know you're not supposed to rub. Oh, this smells so good. Like it smells, I don't know, like milk. But like sexy milk and not like spoiled milk. It's like a grown, sweet, milky. I love it. I probably end up giving it to Richmond. <laughs> I've been giving him feminine scents. He doesn't care. Because what I realized, like, honestly, low key, all scents can be unisex. When they mix with your, like, what is it, pheromones, pheromones, whatever. Like, all the stuff is smelling like a man. I give him the most floral scents. And on him, it just smells like a sexy, good-smelling man. So, I don't know if any of this ish really matters. Also from Ellis Brooklyn, I got the salt scent, which was cool. Not really my favorite. Um, what did it, I don't remember being wild by it. One thing about me, I'm going to just take everything. And I wish it had, like, a sprayer. I don't like that I got to do that. But I do like that it's big. Just like me. So. I think it smells like a beach. Yeah. It smells like. It smells like. The ocean. Richmond's gonna like it. I'm gonna give it to Richmond. Let's see if he likes it. If he doesn't, I'll give it to Alexis. But. Got that from Ellis Brooklyn. And then lastly. I went to a proactive event. I don't think I filmed it. Because it was just an installation in New York. There wasn't really much to see on camera. So Proactive has a new line. They have their Mineral Acne Cleanser. I forgot I had these. Like, literally forgot I had these. So that's what this looks like. Azelaic Acid Pore Perfector, which comes at a perfect time because I just ran out of my pea slices Azelaic Acid. And I like using Azelaic Acid. So can't wait to try that. And then lastly their acne clearing hydrator which is which is a salicylic acid treatment that's my mom that's what this looks like so that's everything that i picked up 
from the events that I was at. Um, I'm just really grateful to be able to be invited to these spaces. I've kind of been in, a, in my own like silo for a long time. So to be able to like meet other creators, meet brand representatives, it's been really, really fun. I'm hoping I get to do more. I know I got to put myself out there more, actually create content. I've just been kind of stuck. Um, not knowing what to create, not knowing what to do, but I just need to post stop overthinking it and just get myself out there get myself in front of new brands because yeah I've been creating natural hair content for a long time but other brands have no I no idea I exist right so it's time to do that it's nerve-wracking but that's it for now y'all that's everything um if you have any questions about this vlog any questions about any of these brands or what I did let me know hopefully all this ish comes together I feel like I'm not a good vlogger but I'm gonna try to be be better I'm gonna try to like actually be in the moment like I watch like I was at an event recently and I saw other creators create their content but like they 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 post quick the event happens they get the video up within a day or two for me we take it weeks and months and just the way they capture the event versus the way I captured it I'm like yo you went to school for film, bitch. Like, act like it. You know what I mean? If you enjoyed this, let me know. And if you didn't, also let me know. That's it for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.